today we doing you know another day in the life doing a vlog with us so this is what it looks like in reality what's up everybody i'm natasha welcome back to our channel living the grand life it's early you can probably hear it in my voice i am alone because tristan does not do mornings like she does not do mornings she doesn't get up this early i'm usually up first by myself for a few hours today we doing you know another day in the life doing a vlog with us so this is what it looks like in reality now last night tristan cooked it's some stuff left over in the kitchen we not even gonna lie to you i gotta clean it because then i'm gonna barbecue board we got our meat right here this is impossible meat so i'm pescatarian tristan still eats everything but um yeah this is processed so it's not the greatest thing um but it doesn't have a lot of crazy ingredients there are a few that yeah shouldn't be in here really but it is what it is so this we're gonna go ahead and barbecue uh, it literally tastes just like meat in real life as you can see it looks just like meat feels just like meat so um yeah this is what we're gonna go ahead and do because it's impossible meat the one thing it doesn't have is the same texture of holding its size right uh so what you got to do is get it prepped up get it all together how you want roll it up if you want to go ahead and do that i typically roll them up and then flatten them when it's time to put them on the grill uh they tend to stick together better that way i put it in the fridge so i'm gonna do that first then i'm gonna clean the grill now flavor this meat up we got Lowry's, of course. We got my onion powder. We got my garlic powder, but we're running out of this one, so I got this as a backup. Garlic lovers, it just sets that, it brings the taste up. It sets it off a little bit. Honey barbecue from Flavor God. Yeah. I gotta have that tab of the brown all purpose and the uh, black pepper. Sometimes I cook these like regular beef where I would cut up some onions and some peppers and add that in. I was thinking about doing that today, but I'm gonna let Trish use that for making the baked beans. So. All right, so we got six pretty decent size balls of meat that are prepped and seasoned and ready to go. I uh, washed my hands just so I can show you this. And I also went ahead, so minimal things to do, and prepared a little bowl to go ahead and set these in to put in the refrigerator. Look who's awake and downstairs. Good morning. I'm gonna need you to be happy or smile or something. It's give me like another hour and then I might be. No, smile. That's <laughs> so fake. Girl, it's 11 o'clock in the morning. It's basically the afternoon, babe. I know, give me another hour and it will be afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't tell the people that I'm not a morning person? Yeah, I told them you're not a morning person. Oh, I told okay. them that's why I was up for hours before you. Oh, okay. Well, that's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get it together. <laughs> I did get it together. I came down here. I'm about ready to cook you some breakfast. Okay. I done already got up, showered, brushed my teeth. 
Hey there. Did my face routine. Open the blinds, made the bed. Oh yeah, you popping then. Yeah. Okay, I'm and here for I'm it. Now you're getting ready to make you some biscuits, sausage, and uh, oatmeal. I'm here for that. Appreciate and you. And that'll be the, to you before it becomes afternoon, so it's still breakfast. You're right. So, I know what I'm supposed to do. What's you this? Mind, what is this twang? You mind your business. Your business? Your business. Okay. Mind it. Hmm? Alright y'all, so we got a bit of a change of plans. Um, I had completely forgotten or, or maybe just assumed we were doing things differently. Uh, that we had agreed to go to the park and walk today yeah. for a little bit. Um, and if you've been following us a while, you know we have tried this before. But this time... <laughs> well, you know what happened last time? We were committed and then we got COVID from working out. Yeah, from the gym. The, somebody at the gym gave us COVID. And we had avoided COVID the whole pandemic. And then tried to take us out. We were like, we're not going back. Right. And even though we could do it from home, we didn't. And so here we are. We're going to try again. Like damn, she in her mood. Like damn, she in her mood. Like damn, she in her mood. She lit. The money too. Like damn, she in her mood. In the mirror, I'm doing my dance. Ain't packing out nobody. We're going to fuck up the line. Caught up to her. Just for a second, though. She probably gonna take off again. Unapologetic, we fuck up the night. <laughs> fuck up the night. I'm passing we get in fuck up tonight. Cause she go pass. She. <laughs> <laughs> Of it. It's time to be done now. Oh shit! Wow! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna stop you from getting in. <laughs> you was gonna stop me? Yeah. It didn't work out. You tired? Good. I'm tired. Tired? Yeah. Me? I got some fatigue, but. I mean, I did just sprint though, so maybe that's why. Maybe. You feel good though. Get back out here. We are back from our walk. The first thing you gotta do when you come from the great outdoors <laughs> is just wash them hands. You feel me? Yeah, that's true. That's true. That felt really good. Like yeah. it was nice getting out there. Well, make this a consistent thing. Keep us accountable. Somebody, like, please. Yeah, keep us accountable this time. There's no way for us to get COVID. The pandemic situation is that well, we could get COVID, but the pandemic is over. And we deserve this. We, we do. deserve to be healthier. We do. We do. So now Tris about to get this breakfast popping. Yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As a part of my health goals, I got a goal to drink more water. And so I said I was gonna drink at least 64 ounces of water a day. Um, when I was filling up my container. So Tasha bought me this a long time ago to try to hold me accountable. Um, it didn't work out longer than a week because <laughs> this was daunting. Like it yeah. was too much and I couldn't, you know, when I didn't finish it, I would feel bad, all that other stuff. So I stopped using it for a really long time. So what I decided to do, I found, I got this cup. See, <laughs> notice how it matches my shirt. Her Shout gold out. wine and cocoa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> so this is my favorite cup by far. It keeps ice for so long. Like this is ice from last night. Um, and so what I decided was instead of using this big cup that, or this big container that like really makes it hard for me i'm going to fill this up to the amount of water that i want to drink per day and then just use this to pour into this cup whenever i need to refill mm -hmm. so that way i can still be drinking a lot but not without having to carry this heavy thing around and all that other stuff and it begins we're gonna we see what we can do y'all again please hold me accountable if you don't see me drinking water in videos, I, I probably fell off because I'm terrible at habits. Terrible. So I'm getting ready to put these biscuits in the oven. Oh, you melt the butter. I see what you did there. Uh, that's what I do. My mother used to always do this with uh, biscuits, even the ones that were like butter tasting. Yeah. Because these say butter tasting. I don't want it to be butter tasting. I want it to be buttery. Oh, okay. You feel me? And so I put a little bit of... I, I was waiting on it. A little bit of plant <laughs> butter. Sometimes it does it by itself and sometimes I have to use a spoon. 
Like damn, she and her move. Like damn, she and her move. Like damn, she and her move. She lit, the money too. Like damn, she and her move. So when you want to make your biscuits like tall so that they can come apart really well, you got to put them real close together. Oh, I didn't so know that. So they don't have no chance, don't have any choice but to rise up. They can't rise they out. they expand in some way. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. All right, so I'm about to make a quick little like veggie. I can't uh, think of what they're called. I don't called. think it's called a scramble. It's like a any eggs in it, but like a skillet. Like a skillet. So I got, I'm gonna make a pasta later with some of these tomatoes, but I might not use them all. So some bell peppers, got some potatoes here, and then got some spinach here. No friends, I don't fuck with the fake. Saying they love me, but one in my place. Step in the party, I'm looking the baddest. So the paparazzi in my face. Pretty bitch, but I get from the gutter. Said I'd be lit by the end of the summer. And I'm proud that I'm still getting bigger. Going viral is getting them sicker. Like what? Let's keep it up. I don't know if y'all ever seen this tool before, but let me tell you something. This thing is a life saver. You about to see. Hold on. Ta-da! Perfectly sliced onions. And no tears. Yep. With no tears. <laughs> That looks good. It smells so good. Mm -hmm. So we've never tried this field roast sausage, but we've been looking for a plant-based breakfast sausage because, you know, Tasha don't eat no good food. <laughs> and so I needed to get a plant-based sausage and my girl Tabitha Brown swears by this field roast. Oh, so we gonna try it. She say it's good. I hope she not telling me no stories. Mm -hmm. Please don't steer me wrong, Auntie Tab. <laughs> So now we about done, but one thing I love to do at the end of any meal to bring everything together, a little bit of sugar. But today it'll be brown sugar. Since we got that maple sausage, it'll bring out the sweetness in the sausage. It'll also bring out the other flavors and the seasonings and everything. Oh, it's gonna be good. It's all done, y'all. Added cheese on top of mine, but whoo, I'm ready to dig in. Got my tall biscuit. Mmm. That's actually good as hell. Good. Breakfast was delicious. Got to switch gears. It's time for me to go ahead and go with this barbecue so we can relax. My barbecue sauce consists of sugar mustard and then i have the um capital city mambo sauce the sweet hot the red i mean not the red the black packaging not the white the white is all right but and that's black on right yes this is black on and this surprisingly enough has a lot of uh, flavor on it like it's tasty it's no sugar added but that don't mean they ain't add other things man it's tasty last but not least our secret ingredient the trip got a little zest from earlier uh is a lemon but you don't want to do too much with the lemon because it's going to bring everything out if your sauce is slightly hot it's going to elevate <laughs> What it tastes like? Sweet goodness. Sweet goodness. <laughs> All right, we got this little device here that I use uh, for the lemon that usually catches all the pulp and the uh, seeds and gets a good amount of juice down. So it's gutted. <laughs> Cut all the pulp and seeds here and 
You want the other half? Nah, I got lemon juice now. So this amount of lemon juice is way too much for this sauce because again, it extremely heightens all the flavors. You go taste everything crazy. So I don't put a whole lot. And that's about it. That little bit is gonna do so much. You can smell the lemon in the sauce as soon as you put it in there. Yep. That's good. Mm-hmm. It's real good, so I'm gonna put this on low, like the lowest of low. I'm gonna let this I'm gonna cover it and let it just kind of sit. I have, you know, you can do newspaper and stuff like that. You gotta drop on grill, but I actually have these because I like the little flavor that they have. So I like to put those down at the bottom before I put my charcoal on top. And then I add a couple more inside just to maintain my fire. So I don't have to keep starting it over. I like to keep my fire contained to the front half. So that I can move things to the back if they're done sooner. So Tasha done got the grill lit up. She getting ready to put the burgers and stuff on the grill. So it's time for me to go ahead and get started with the sides. Today, really the only warm side we're gonna have is baked beans. I love baked beans with barbecue. It's just like, mm, chef's kiss. You know what I'm saying? Like, what else is there? Let me love you down. So we got the onions there and then we're going to put a lot of the same things that Tasha put in the sauce so it can complement it really well. We got some mustard, we got some of the, bar the hickory barbecue sauce again. I put a good amount, put a little bit of the Capital City Mambo Sauce, and then some brown sugar again. I know y'all seeing us put sugar and brown sugar in a lot of things. It's a weakness, but also <laughs> sugar is just, it brings things together. Like it just pulls flavors together. Um, yes, I am one of those who put sugar in my grits. I put sugar in my spaghetti just a little bit though y'all not too much don't get crazy and don't talk to me crazy when you watch this got that on 375 by the way i'm just gonna leave that in the oven for probably like an hour and some change maybe not even i don't know again when the ancestors whisper to me and say my child those beans are done i'm gonna take them out lay it down bring it, lay it down the burgers are good and done. This one checking my every move over here. You gonna say hi? Hmm? Say hi. She's saying hi to y'all. She's not wagging her tail today. She's sleepy. Probably about time to turn these. Yep, it is. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Already. Already. They ain't even been out here long. It's because I got that good fire going. Now she chilling. Just lay these down. These are my uh, plant-based brats. So the way they do it, you kind of see that edge there? They pack all of this stuff inside of some kind of substance that holds it all together. But these about to, you gonna see, ooh, we they good. All right, y'all, so I told you two things. Number one, we're trying to eat more fruits and vegetables. Number two, we got a bunch of stuff that's about to go bad. So, oh, and I told you three things. Number three, I'm about to make some cold things to go along with our hot barbecue, right? Mm -hmm. So these cucumbers are soaking in uh, vinegar water um, because I like to make sure they're very 
well cleaned and disinfected since they won't be cooked or anything um, and we'll be eating them raw. You were the student of me. So we done sliced up the cucumbers and now we're just going real basic like throw a bunch of Italian dressing in there. Taste <laughs> one. Mm -hmm. These strawberries have been soaking in salt water. So I don't like to soak my strawberries in vinegar because strawberries have a very, they're sort of porous and a very thin skin. So you don't want anything too harsh on them, but you do want to clean them. So I soak mine in salt water. And as you can see, it's all kinds of stuff <laughs> floating around in this water, mm -hmm. which is why fruits and vegetables are disgusting to me. Yeah. I mean, they taste good, but they just be so gross <laughs> in the way that they come to you. My wife loves chocolate covered strawberries. And so we try to eat more fruits and vegetables. How you do that? I don't know, any way you can. And so this is what we're doing. <laughs> this is melting chocolate or candy coating is what it's called. And literally you just take it out and you leave it directly in here and then you put it into the microwave. And I think originally you do it for like 60 or 90 seconds and then every 30 seconds or so you do it, you do it in like 15 second increments until you get it to the consistency that you want. So this has been in there for one minute so far. Oh wow. As you can see it's <laughs> barely. Yeah. So we're gonna get it back in there. Like I said, in increments was just a little bit more in the middle, mm -hmm. but the edges are not even close. That looks good. Yeah, it does. So we're gonna get it back in there in increments of 15 seconds. It's been another 15 seconds. Let's see where we at. It's getting there. Mm-hmm. I think maybe 15. At least one more 15 second round. All right, y'all. I think we good and smooth now. You were the student of me. And you want to try to do this as quickly as possible because as it cools, it will obviously thicken and harden. Now we can get ready to put these into the refrigerator to continue to harden. And that's what we'll eat as a sweet snack whenever we want something sweet. Instead of getting an ice cream sandwich, we'll get a, a chocolate covered strawberry or something. Queen right here got my back. <laughs> and your phone if you need it. Hey, no. We are done, y'all. Let me show you. Tristan's hot dogs are done. Our burgers are done. My brats are knocked out. It's delicious. They all been dipped. They are ready to be demolished. The uh, baked beans are done and ready to be demolished. Tristan has made some cucumber and lemon water for us. The cucumbers are in there soaking up all that Italian dressing. And those strawberries are in there hardening up and getting ready to be smacked. And now I'm getting ready to make this plate. She about to make a plate. I'm going to follow her. So we had a great time with y'all today, bringing y'all with us to, to see, you know, really what a day in the life looks like for real, for real. We about to smash and relax. And if this is your first time, welcome. welcome. We are very, very happy to have you here, family. So since we know you're going to love it here and you love it here already, go ahead and make sure you subscribe. Mm -hmm. And when you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell. Ding. <laughs> so you're notified when your new friends of the Grands post new content. While we're on the subject of content, what did you think of this content? Mm -hmm. Would you all like to spend a weekend with us? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna finish it out, y'all. Trish can't even think right now. She's so hungry and ready to smash this food. So we about to go. We about to, it's time. It's time for us to go. And you you gotta go too. You don't gotta go home, but you know how the saying goes. We're gonna highlight y'all in the next video. <laughs> Bye. This food is so fire. If y'all haven't tried this impossible ground beef meat, it's hard for me to even fathom that it's not beef, right? That's why I keep saying ground beef. If y'all haven't tried it, you missing something. You missing something special. So it look like when you bite inside one of them, a hamburger. That's inside the brat. Right? Hell yeah. Let's make it happen, baby. <laughs> Ooh, this one got a bigger strawberry.
thank you. Ooh, with the chocolate covered strawberry too. Baby made us strawberry pina coladas. With the chocolate covered strawberry. Let's go. You the shit's naive. I know, right? <laughs> it's crazy. Mm. Mm -hmm. Baby, I did that. Mm -hmm. yeah, I did that. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.